To celebrate the arrival of all the new Marvel projects, we're doing a massive giveaway on the channel. To enter to win a Hot Toys Replica Infinity Gauntlet, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments of this video what your favorite Marvel movie is. After a month, one lucky viewer will be selected to win a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet. The nanotech bleeding edge armor that we saw Iron Man wield in Avengers Infinity War is by far the most advanced Iron Man suit. Not only is this one of the most durable Iron Man armors, but it can also create weapons on the fly using nanotech. We see in Infinity War at multiple points Iron Man makes either guns or swords. In aerial battle, it's also by far one of the most advanced. But with this raises a huge question for Avengers 4. How does Tony Stark outdo this armor? What type of armor will he wield in Avengers 4? that is potentially more powerful than the Bleeding Edge? The answer may surprise you. In all actuality, Iron Man won't create a better armor for Avengers 4, as he will be wielding the same armor that he has in Infinity War. Based off of release concept art for Avengers 4 and promo images, it is the exact same armor that Iron Man used against Thanos on Titan. In an interview for Avengers Infinity War, the Russo brothers actually confirmed that the Bleeding Edge armor is as good as it gets for Iron Man. They revealed that mentally, this is Iron Man's peak, and he will never develop an armor more advanced than this without help. This is exactly what was said about him as well as his relationship to Thanos concerning the armor. The journey that Tony's been on as a genius scientist is that the evolution of his armor, this is the best it's ever gonna get for Tony and its nanotech. He goes to the cutting edge of what his mind can deliver, and it is still not enough to beat Thanos. In fact, it barely keeps him in the fight. This is why in Avengers 4, we see that Iron Man is still using the exact same armor that he used in Infinity War. This bleeding edge nanotech armor is the absolute peak of Tony Stark's intelligence. This doesn't mean though that he hasn't added several gadgets to the armor, just that it will be the same that it was in Infinity War. But this also raises another question, what has Tony Stark done with his time, as we know that Avengers 4 will have a time jump from Infinity War? The answer likely has to do with something involving Ant-Man's quantum realm and time travel. I suspect that instead of creating a whole new armor, Tony has been vigorously working to try to find a way to bring some of the Avengers back, or all of them if he's lucky. But anyway, this is why in Avengers 4, Iron Man will be wielding the same armor that he did in Infinity War, as this is in truth the peak that his armor can grow to. The nanotech is the absolute best that Iron Man can deliver, and it actually managed to make the Mad Titan Thanos himself bleed, but it was still not enough. There have been several theories that Iron Man will actually construct an armor though that is capable of holding all of the Infinity Stones similar to the Gauntlet. Thus far though, there is no evidence supporting this theory, and it's simply an idea that many fans have come up with. Although it's possible Tony has developed an armor like this following the events of Infinity War, it's far from confirmed, or even hinted at. And again, based on the comments made by the Russo brothers in Infinity War and the promo art for Avengers 4, the nanotech armor is some of the best that Iron Man has ever come up with, and may be his peak. But again, leave your thoughts on the nanotech armor in the comments down below, and if Tony Stark hasn't been working on a new suit, what has he been working on? Leave all of your thoughts and theories about Avengers 4 in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe to join the team, and have a great day.